Good day, good day, good day, everybody. Brian here from Quantlabs.net. Today is January 16th, I believe. Uh, it is 11, 11 p.m. my time. And uh, let me just show you what we're wanting to do. I've been wanting to do this for over probably a week, looking for a tool exactly to do this. So as you may know, I've been looking for a uh, tool to um, uh, a Python package to be able to work with to do uh, downloading data, sending out orders to the uh, TWS, which is right here. Um, and uh, this is on Linux, and uh, it seems to work fine. I'm not going to be able to show you all of the TWS for the Interactive Broker Trader Workstation. Just do the account information. Don't need people to monkey around with that. But uh, there's this. Um, package here from Pyth for Python called IBPy Native. Now IBPy has been abandoned for 10 plus years it seems on their GitHub. So somebody came along, I guess reactivated it. Uh, if you go to pypy.org, uh, you can get a, get a look at it. I'll, I'll put all the descriptions and URLs in my blog post on this. And it shows you how to install it with uh, pip and so on and so forth. Now, if you are familiar with the uh, API for interactive brokers for C++, Visual C++, C Sharp, Java, that kind of makes sense with the utility. But when you try to replicate that with Python, it's just really, they're trying to cram all this object-oriented, pretty well crap in, into a, a scripting language. And it really messes everything up. They, I don't think they'll ever be able to um, uh, correct that. So this 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 package, which is better, easier to uh, work with. So um, there's that uh, as well as the instructions and all that. There's the usual GitHub, which can be found uh, here. All this stuff. Um, Python for Forex Interactive Brokers Python API Guide. Now that came from here. This is um, Algo trading101.com and the it's under their learn section title is interactive brokers python api native a step-by-step -step guide very very good article okay this um is not that old it's probably about a year old so it's fairly new um and hopefully it'll stay updated and won't get, become obsolete but it does work so if you go to this article, um, and as I said, uh, there's the uh, the GitHub repository you, you can work from, and uh, there's all the coding examples, all the setup, all the utilities, how to create a interactive brokers, how to configure your TWS, blah blah blah. This is where you start, okay? If you're going to do Python, so in there, um, I'm going to show you my own version. This is verified to work real good. Um, so this is the actual repository to work from. Uh, there's only really two things I'm going to show you is um, this one right here, create order. And there's also, let me just move up on this. Um, hang on here. Okay, so I've put together a couple of demos here. Uh, and it's from the same article on the Algo Trading 101. So if you have your tutorial FX Pi, okay, uh, this is my own version of it. Uh, as you can see here, it, it will um, download a uh, data for a Euro USD Forex. Uh, and this article will explain it pretty good. This will also create a uh, Euro USD hourly CSV, so that's how you can retrieve your historical data. Um, so in my case, if I run that uh, under, now one thing I forgot to mention here, uh, it's very important, um, that this will only work with, um, let's see here, this will only work with, uh, yeah, it'll, it's only compatible with um, Python 3.7. So just so you know, I, I was running 3.6, so I ended up upgrading my 
Python interpreter 3.8, that was a real pain to get everything updated uh, in the code that I'm using on my Binance bot. So um, here's here's the source code. Okay, as I said, you can get that in the article, and then you can just run it, and it runs fine. Now um, understand, I am running. Here's the TWS I can show you here, um, and uh, essentially uh, there's errors in here. Uh, I believe that's because of um, uh, I'm using my TWS logging in as a paper trading in simulated mode there, as you can see in the red bar here. Um, so it's not a real account. I mean, it's not a real trading account, but I, it's a live account with money in it being funded. So just be aware uh, of that, um, just as this is the first demo. So as you can see here, I, it does generate a, um, a, uh, a CSV file, which you wanted the Euro USD. So here, uh, 2317 matches up to my system time. And uh, here uh, is what it looks like. So now you can download your bar data, okay? Um, that's not looking like a bar data. I'm not sure if that's closed data or whatnot, but um, you know, it's data to work from, obviously. So that's a closed price. So I'm sure maybe looking in further, digging deeper, you can get the open high, low close. Um, but it's just a, a start, right? So that's a good thing. And um, let's uh, do one more. So in there, um, okay, so if you go farther into uh, the repository from that GitHub, um, we just uh, get into the, navigate to that. And uh, okay. So here's the source code from that GitHub. So like I said, I'm only gonna do this one right here. Okay, uh, create order. So there's lots of sample coding uh, in Python here. Uh, we got 20 you know, technical analysis on using pandas or whatever you want. So go through that. I'm, I'm obviously assuming you know how to do that. Um, but in this case, we have create order, which I believe is, uh, a, uh, a pair here again euro usd limit order um, that's a command right there to place that order uh, and then you can cancel it as well da, da, da. so let me run it i'm going to bring up my tws here just to show you it will communicate uh, as well um, let's get that uh, set this up properly. Okay, so there's a TWS. Um, let me pull up my console here, terminal. Okay, so there's that. So now what I'm gonna do is, this is the TWS I can run, and you'll see it communicate as the order comes in. Just to show you it does work, this is all basic, all from Python. So this is a very, very good start uh, with other articles I put up where they want money out of you or trying to work out the one from Interactive Brokers, pure hell. So here we go, um, I think it will, canceling order. So right there, order, warning. Now you can turn this off, this message. So it's just telling you that um, uh, your order sizes below the minimum will be routed to the ought lot order. So. At the end of the day, it does work. At least the source code works, so you can go from there and uh, tweak it, modify it, and uh, move on from there. So that is that working, which is great, right? So uh, let me show you a couple more tips here. Um, now, I'm kind of re uh, getting reacquainted with Interactive Brokers. A couple important things that I think you might want to know about. Uh, I'm I'm doing more more uh, more Python than the platform of something like MotorWave. Um, it's just more flexible. And um, so if you go, you want to learn more about what I do, just join my daily newsletter, Quant Labs. 
net slash contact now the other thing is when it comes to what I do as I said with my store at uh, quantlabs.shop this is very lowly priced uh, if you want to know about my crypto trading bot or different now because I'm able to do what I can do with crypto uh, with interactive brokers I can still use other parts from this course for the technical analysis to do the charting to do the database stuff I can still do that learning from this course okay so this is gonna double the value now of not just with interactive brokers but also with crypto so this now adds more value and has more reason to make this course a lot more expensive than it currently is at this price of 100 bucks so um, if you want to know uh, jump on it um, man uh, if you want to jump on it yeah jump on it quantlabs.shop okay because I'm not keeping this stuff lowly priced that it is all right so we'll leave it at that thanks for watching have a good day